here we are. We got a, a theory to test here. Um, so Paul's turbo, like it doesn't spool up until like what, fucking 5K basically? Yeah. So he's not hitting like full boost at like 5K, right? No. No? It went up to like, it was 6K when I got to the nine. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so it's a little late. So it's taking a long ass time to spool. So we're gonna try putting a Basically, we're going to make a hybrid turbo as long as the turbo that's on there will cohabitate with the other turbo, then we'll be good. So that's guess what we're going to find out. So we just got to pop off this turbo to assemble that one and uh, combine them and hopefully it works and we don't break anything because that'd be a damn shame. But yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Step one, done. Remove the turbo. Now to go disassemble. So basically we had to put like a, a star because there's a star on the back and a star on here and then you just against each other. Just and then uh, yeah, so now we gotta take off this housing and then I'll show the reassemble a lot better. Well, we got this guy off. This is the one that's gonna be going on. No. This, no, that's not going on that. That little, that cold compressor is going on here because we need the smaller uh, exhaust housing with the larger compressor housing. Now you're getting it. So, but uh, yeah, Paul's over there taking out these four bolts that I just took off on this one. So once he's done with that, then we can pray to the turbo gods that this works out. So let's see if it works out. So uh, we ended up taking out this housing or whatever the bearing journal bearing, and then. So we got that one's different, so that one's already in there. And then we took this one off of that turbo, slapped it on here. Now we're going to put it on, and hopefully everything bolts up. So I'm just going to slide her right on. I'll have to line it up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if the bolts fit. All right, and then uh, just a tip here. Uh, when you assemble it, there's like this little line, or well, not the line doesn't make, but... When you before you disassemble, you need to make a mark because these things are all balanced and yeah, shit. Like this part and the balance on there and on the back of this. I didn't do that before, so it's time to grow up and do it right. And dang! I gotta tighten it. So I don't know. I just gotta get it tight. And when it's tight, that line needs to be lined up. So let's do that. All right, well, we got it on here. So we'll have to, um, I wanna try and film. I know he's got a couple of logs, but the boost will be different, but we should be able to tell when uh, the boost is coming in. So that'll be cool to try and compare. So we'll have to bring it up on like a laptop or something, and then you'll have to log this one, and then we can show whether this actually makes a difference or not. So, all right, that's where we're at. See you in the next clip where we explain. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have Paul explain it real quick because he's got it all set up, so. All right, so we got third gear here. And I couldn't do a third gear pull with a new one, but it's a lot faster. Because at 3000 RPM, we had 0.9 boost. And the max at 5400 was 7.8. And then if you go to the other one. Oh, geez. I gotta find it. Find where I made the boosties. We'll do this one. This is only a second gear pull, but you'll get the idea. Don't worry about the minimum because I wasn't full throttle. But the max is 11.9, and that's only second gear compared to third gear. So it will be much better. You can tell when you're driving, it builds boost a lot faster. And it's leaking, because the manifold broke somehow. Yeah, the, uh, where the wastegate, we're pretty sure because of how the wastegates, the wastegate was applying pressure to the manifold, and then when we were beating on it the other day, doing donuts and shit, it must have cracked. So, or it could have cracked, because um, you said the turbo was glowing. That probably didn't help either.
Yeah, it was a tur- it wasn't the manifold, it was just a turbo. Just the hot side of the turbo. Well, I mean, I still imagine the manifold got toasty, just not that toasty. Yeah, I think it was. Either way. Something broke it. So, we gotta take that off again, but, you know, this goes to show that your little hybrid turbo can be the answer. Maybe. To making more boost quicker. We gotta do more tests, but it's looking promising. So, alright, like, comment, subscribe, see you guys in the next one. Alright, so Paul took it off, brought it over, um, and it's cracked all the way around. Well, pretty much. Like half of it's cracked, so I got the top, and then around the side. So, re-weld it and hope for the best. Uh, we're going to end up just probably doing a super easy dump, basically. Down, basically, because out the fender was a pipe dream, I guess, so... But yeah, we'll get this fixed, and then he'll take it home and get it back on. That's going to be the end of this. Well, once I finish this up, I'm just adding this in to the end of the uh, where we built the turbo. So let's get that done. About halfway and out of well other wire. Awesome. Nice little okay. on there. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, tried to film this, and I forgot to hit the record button, apparently. So, uh, yeah, there's about 10 passes on there. Shouldn't break. If it breaks... Uh, the car's for sale and uh yeah so basically the only reason why this cracked was because we had quite a bit of pressure on there so from the how we have that wastegate ran so that's probably why that cracked and so what we're doing right now is we're gonna cut this flange off cut that straight weld this on and that'll be his screamer pipe so let's do that my screamer pipe done and uh yeah so paul will take it home and get it installed but uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. So like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.